Hey, what is up, people? This is Penn. Welcome back to the channel. This is sort of like a little bit of a special scenario base, um, which the concept is definitely um, out there and you can't execute it. It would just come down to your device situation. This is from a viewer named Mr. Options slash solutions. And essentially the scenario that was presented to me was the viewer has a Zadoo device. And that Zadoo device has a external hard drive plugged directly into it. And that has the Samba server enabled. Now the viewer would like to use the Zadoo as a server and have that content be read and scanned through a media server and a client named MB, formerly known as Media Browser. Is this possible? Yes. MB has the ability to pick up on your network shares and scan your libraries just fine, as if you had like a local drive scanned directly through MB or a similar method when it comes to getting your content in one central location. So there is a few things that I will discuss. Um, just a heads up. The viewer also mentioned that they had a formula device. Um, that's another streaming device, another option out on the market for those of you that want to research that. I currently do not own any of those. Um, and I'm content with my products as I have now. I just don't see me getting one. However, the viewer wanted to use the MB client application on the formula and he wanted us to do to strictly be the server. And the thing of it is, is that MB isn't like an application um, strictly like Nova video player where you can just instantly go in, pick up on those shares, load your content, see that poster, and then you're good to go. Similar to what VLC does. And there's some other applications like the KODI app can do that. But with MB, um, that does, if we're talking about strictly your content that's within your network, in this scenario, that will require a server component. So there has been discussions about getting the MB media server on various devices in the past. I do know that they have some flexibility when it comes to getting their server installed on different devices. However, that is not my current scenario. I will be explaining the concept in terms of getting it generally set up. But once again, I do not have the devices to replicate exactly what the viewer has stated. But hopefully once you guys see the video, um, it will make a lot more sense. All right, so let's get started. Um, with this, I did some prep work beforehand because I own the Zadu Z9X Pro. Uh, I had to format my external drive to XFAT. The default method did not show any of my content in the Samba shares. And there's actually like an article or a Zadu form about that specifically. Um, if I can remember, I'll link that in the video description as well so that you can read about it. But that is something that I had to do beforehand in order to get this to even work properly. All right, so I'm just going to um, get straight into it and enjoy. Okay, so this is the settings on the Zadu Z9X Pro. Um, I'm just showing you my example in terms of getting this set up properly. The first thing is, is that the viewer mentioned that they want to use MB on a formula device and they want theirs to do to be the server. 
So if you want your Zadu to be the server in this case, then enabling the Samba server is going to be a step in the right direction. Now, here are some key things here. You're going to want to take note of your device IP address. And also, you're going to want to have the enable password feature turned off. You're going to know that it's turned off when this all the way to the left and it's grayed out. Blue means on, right. Gray means off, left. And the reason for that is, is because when I was doing my initial research into getting the concept for this executed, um, MB picking up Samba share libraries that are password protected, that have a username and all that, there isn't or there wasn't a pop-up option or an additional menu within the MB server application to, you know, get that set up. It's the easiest, what's going to work out of the box. Just turn off the password. You're good to go. It's going to work as intended. All right. Now, this is for someone that wants to use Zadu and MB. So, some of you that's watching this stuff uh, may find things to be a little bit redundant, but this is within a scenario that is presented. It's going to all make sense pretty soon. But this is the initial stage. Once you're on your to do, you have that external storage connected directly to the device. This is how you get it set up on Zadu end so that you can be successful when it comes to the MB setup. All right. All right. So just one thing to remember, um, definitely in this part of the video, um, I do not have my viewers devices, but the concept is going to be the same. It's just going to be different upon each person. So in my case, um, just for the sake of this video, my server, um, I took it upon myself to get the MB Media server directly installed on my Synology NAS. As you can see, the MB server is right there. The client in this case is just going to be my desktop computer through a web browser, but you're going to quickly see how this can translate to different devices as long as you stick to the core fundamentals of the MB Media server the MB client application. In this case, an additional function, um, a Zadu with Samba server enabled. So that's the key here. Okay, so I already have the finished product here, but I'm going to like just go through this like step by step and essentially just walk anyone through who is wondering how to add the Samba share from the Zadu into the MB Media server. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm just gonna walk you through from step one. Okay, so this is sort of like my dashboard in the MB Media server. Um, fresh install, default, really didn't change anything but updated to the latest setting that was available. So. You can kind of see the path here, but I'm going to go ahead and get this removed. So I was going to remove that from my server. And the example video that I have is a YouTube video that, that I did from a viewer that asked a question. Um, just to make this a little bit more YouTube friendly and educational, um, but you can translate this for movies, your TV shows, your music, uh, whatever you want to have. I'm just using my own content as an example here. Okay, so I want to go to new library. Now, depending on how you go about your MB Media Server installation, um, you may see this sooner or you may see this later. The result, the options, they're pretty much the same. You hit new library. I wanna just go to show advanced settings. I just like that to have so I see everything. Uh, for me, th this would be more, um, I had missed content, but honestly, I can say home videos and photos. Uh, and then I, I can just leave this stuff alone. I mean, cause it's just a YouTube video, right? 
the key here, you want to go to folders. Okay, so with MB, you have the ability to enter network paths. They can be entered manually or they can be um, accessed through the network option. And you, you see the support for this is, uh, you know, it gives you some options. There's an optional shared network folder and I will be discussing that as well. So for me, all I'm gonna do is scroll all the way down until I see network. Um, you're gonna see like this Wi-Fi symbol, it's a network, it's labeled. Now, keep in mind of this right here. So remember the IP address um, that I showed earlier, and also yours is going to be based on your device. You're gonna to wanna to have that written down somewhere. Or another example is server, and it gives you two separate examples. So I'm just gonna click on this network here. And right here, it gives me, well, I can actually enter this in, but it's right here. So this is gonna be my Zidu Z9X Pro. And you just wanna make sure that the slashes are just like the example from above. I'm doing the IP method only because it's the easiest and literally all you do is just type it in exactly as it's shown above and you get results. So this is my external hard drive that I have plugged directly into my Zidu Z9 Max Pro. Now I wanna simply go to share. That's the um, folder I need to get into, the FA40 A5D4. I'm gonna go to my videos and boom. Now there's an optional shared network folder. If this folder is shared on your network, which it is, supplying the network share path can follow MB apps on other devices to access the media files directly. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. At this point, I did the hard work. It's gonna copy and paste and I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna press okay. And that's it. Uh, press OK again. It's going to scan that in for me. Um, and then I'm going to do like a playback demo, whatever. I don't have to worry about copyright. It's my own content in this case. But it's scanning in the, the stuff there. Um, home videos and photos. And there's the share. There's the path. So... That should be going through and it's done. So I can go to home now. And as you can see, my Dune HD Real Vision 4K, this is a recent video, auto indexing your content is on my MB media server and using the MB application on other devices such as a phone, a tablet, Android, Apple, this comes from my Zidu. So I click on this. It may get like a little stutter. All right, so you see there that the playback, this is on my browser. You know, it's not going to be the ideal client for MB, but I'm just showing you the concept of how this can be um, executed. And as you can see, it's playing. Scroll. It's all through your network. It's all about the network. Go back. There you go. All right. So I hope this answers any questions that anyone may have uh, regarding this. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, it did sort of throw like a curveball at me at first. Um, however, as long as you do the prep work and I'm gonna have some additional information down in the description and um, there's multiple ways, different options that comes with solutions to getting your ideal result 
and ultimately lead to you being successful and happy in your entertainment setup. This is Penn Sign Out. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Take care. Goodbye.